In this video, I'm going to talk about the provider that comes with React Redux. I'm going to show you why this is useful uh, by taking a look at making another component and integrating that into this application. And so we are back with our listing component. You can add items. Last time we implemented deleting things, so all that's good. Uh, what would happen if we want to create another component that's hooked up to the store that can receive all this data? That's what we want to deal with. In this particular case, I want to create a footer. So this footer is going to go uh, below the lister. And the point of the footer will be to show the total count of the items, which when you have one or two items, doesn't matter. But if you have lots of items in your list, it sure would be nice to see a total count. So let's create that component. I'm going to go here into the source and create a footer counter, or just footer component. Let's see. Footer.js already exists. Oh, well, this was from something I was messing around with earlier. Let me delete what's there and start over. Footer.js. Okay, so let's just create a regular component. We'll start there. Import React from React. And uh, we'll create this as a pure functional component. It doesn't need um, to hold any state because all it's going to need to do is look at the current state and um, get the number of the items in state and display. It. So that's it. So here we go. Let's see, return footer total count, and we will put props dot count here. And so uh, we need the state, and so we need to go through through what we've been doing to map state to props. So function map state to props state will get passed and right there you will return a count property and so count from there right so these two have to match up so I need to get from the state the count of things and so that should be state dot items dot length That, I think, will work. So, ooh, I need to connect all this stuff up. So I'm going to bring in that connect function from React Redux. And so that way, I can export default connect map state props, pass in our footer. And I think we're going to be good. So I'm going to go into my lister, and I'm going to import that footer from here. Like so. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, snap. Could not find store in either the context or props of connect footer. Either wrap the root component in a provider, hey, that's what we're going to do in a minute, or explicitly pass store as a prop to connect footer. So I have the store here in props. Uh, let's, let's actually check that. Let's confirm it. Uh, whenever it renders, uh, this is the render for the lister. Let's make that clear. So lister render, it has the store. So I can actually just say, well, store equals props.store. There we go. And now it works. Uh, let's see. Well, at least I think it works. All right. Total count is going up. This is actually fully functional. Um, this is pretty cool. This works, but frankly, it's kind of annoying uh, because you have to, if you, if you go this route, you have to remember anytime you create a connected component to always pass the store. It would be really great, really, really great if we could not do that. 
And we could maybe, just theoretically, assign the store once, and then it will just figure it out. Hey, let's do that. And so, here we go. I've taken that out, and we're back with our error. So now I'm going to go back to app. Okay. So see how we're passing store here into lister. I'm going to bring in a new component. And if we look here, we can see provider. That's what we need. So I want provider from React Redux. So provider is a component. And what you do is you stick your other components inside of that. That the other, your other components that are connected through React Redux. And then you move the store up here, and then it does all the wiring for you, like so. So now, Lister no longer needs the store, and Footer on the inside, it no longer needs the store. It's already getting the store. Well, how can we see that? Well, let's go in here and console log footer, render, and props. I mean, it's working, so that obviously means it's there, but hey, you know, let's, we're, 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 it's getting the state, it's getting the store somehow. Um, and look, there's that count zero, and so every time we make a change and add a new item, it's going to re-render the footer and count one, and that must mean the state is showing up right here. Map state to props. Hey, look, there's our full state. This is an item in the input text. There we go. Excellent. Count nine. But here's the actual array of items. We have succeeded. So that's the purpose of provider. You put it as the parent of all your connected components, and it should be filling in and basically pushing the store and making sure the connection works all the way down. Now, one other thing I want to mention before we leave this video is you can't do this. React.children.only expected to receive a single React element child. So, this is expected to receive only a single child. If, for some reason, you do need to have two or one, uh, two or more components. All you got to do is make sure you wrap all that in a single element, and now everything works. And I can change this to can because now we can do this because we've wrapped all this stuff in here. Now, just to show you. Let's take footer out of here. Let's just pretend we didn't want that to be inside of Lister. Let's see if it still works. Footer is not defined. Well, you know, that doesn't work because I didn't bring the import with it. There we go. Yep, everything still works. So footer can be a part of that component or it can be out here. Um, and it's getting the store because provider is wrapping both of these components. And so that's doing all that gluing work between Redux and React for us. So that's provider. You don't need it. You don't have to use it. Uh, but it is very useful as a you know, convenience factor whenever you're doing React Redux applications.